Pakistan's former strongman Pervez Musharraf will go on trial accused of treason. He could face the death penalty if convicted. The trial threatens to create dangerous tensions between the country's civilian leaders and its powerful military establishment. The charge of high treason was handed down by a special Pakistani court on Monday. The case stems from Musharraf's decision in 2007 to declare a state of emergency and suspend the constitution. Musharraf was present in the court and pleaded not guilty to each of four indictments. He told the chamber, I have only given to this country and not taken anything. His declaration of a state of emergency in 2007 backfired and triggered widespread protests. Musharraf stepped down the following year and went into exile. He returned to Pakistan in March last year, hoping to make a political comeback, but was placed under house arrest. Now, as Sharif returned to the Prime Minister's office in June 2013, his previous stint as Prime Minister came to an abrupt end in 1999 when he was deposed by Musharraf in a military coup. The Sharif government has been reviewing Musharraf's record. Lawyers for the former president say he won't receive a fair trial. Pakistan's military has taken power in three coups since the country was founded in 1947. But this is the first time a former army chief has been indicted for treason.